Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the February Snacku. And like usual, I wasn't able to get to unboxing it immediately. So I've had it for a little bit. They do ship pretty early into the month. So uh, as is usual, I think there's going to be some strawberry related stuff in here. They always do that for February because Valentine's Day is a thing in Japan as well. So that's cool. Also, I have to apologize if my voice is a little bit off, if I end up coughing a little bit during this because I'm getting over something. So, sucks. Anyway, so, here's what we got. Aha, uh -huh. nice, nice looking for that. And if you want to take a look, there you go. Looks like we're going to have like a moon pie type thing in there. Which is cool, which is cool. And this is what it's looking like in the box. All the goodies. Always get excited for these. These always make me happy. Okay. So, first of all, I'm, I'm just going to do this. We have two of these. Because they're like the biggest thing in there. I need to get them out of here. So these are from the Popular Snacks side. This is Happy Turn. Um, it's hard to describe these rice crackers. They're both sweet and salty, and we love them. I think I've had this exact product. Oh, actually, what's with the lighting? I think I've had this exact product in the in um, Snacku before, and I think I remember liking it. I can remember. I can kind of like vaguely remember. Yep, yep, we definitely had this before, and I remember liking it. Yeah, it's kind of like a senbai-ish thing, and it's sweet and salty. It's It definitely has, like, a, um, a little bit of a soy sauce smell to it. It definitely smells a little salty, slightly sweet. Yeah. And it's nice and crispy. I love it. There's definitely a sweetness to it. It's almost like there's a little coating of sugar on the outside, and then salt. Nice rice cracker crunch to it. Yeah, it's good. I really like that. That's another one I would say is good to have with a beer, which I'm going to have some beer tonight. So I'm recording this on a Friday. It's not necessarily going to come out on a Friday. So I'm going to relax, have a beer. I'll eat some of those. Going to be good. Yeah, so happy turn. Make me happy. All right, moving on. This also looks familiar. I think we've had this in the in a box before as well. Also from the popular snack side, black puffed rice, baked organic Japanese rice puffs glazed with dark soy sauce and black sesame paste. Because this also looks familiar. But rice puffs, I should like it. I like that type of stuff. Oh yeah, so much soy sauce smell just like such that's like salty it's got that kind of umami from the soy sauce mm. as you can hear it is very crunchy it's even crunchier than those happy turns Mhm. Mm i get the black sesame flavor in there which is really nice it's mainly a lot of the just like the typical rice cracker flavor with some nice soy sauce to a little bit salty and then comes in that black sesame at the end. That's good. That will go also go well with some beer. So, exciting. Let me clear this. Mm. Clear my palate off there. Okay, next thing. I'm just kind of like randomly grabbing. So, I'm not trying to do like some over here, some over there. So, we'll see what this one. This one. Is this a chocolate senbai? I'm going to have to show it to you. And then, oh, yeah. Rice crackers coated with chocolate. Chocolate senbai. Heart-shaped, airy senbai rice crackers covered in rich milk chocolate from Hokkaido. Another senbai thing. Totally down with that. I love my senbai. Uh, this is from the featured snacks portion of the box. I'm excited about this. Because A, I love senbai. B, I love chocolate. Who doesn't? Actually, I do know some people who don't like chocolate. Weird. Yeah, I mean, you can see cracker in there. It's, I mean, it's good, but it's like a little overly simple in my opinion. After having the last two rice crackers, I really want it to have um, a bit of a saltiness to it as well. Like if there was, if there was like a medium salt to that, that would be really cool because there's no saltiness to it. It just has the the rice cracker flavor the crunch, and then it's just milk chocolate, which is a good flavor, but it's mainly just like milk chocolate with a crunch. 
you know? So I just want a little saltiness with it. That would be really nice. Good, though. You know, not a bad product. Okay, we've had these before, I know. Are they the same, though? Okay, we've had these before. These are the Chocolate Arare. From a rice cracker store in Kyoto comes a snack 10 years in the making. These chocolate-covered mini rice crackers have <coughs> sorry, even been featured on TV in Japan. They come in two pouches, bitter and sweet. The bitter pouch includes matcha green tea, dark chocolate, and white chocolate-covered crackers. The sweet pouch contains strawberry, milk chocolate, and white chocolate. I'm going to do the sweet because, one, I don't like matcha, and two, this box is supposed to have a bunch of, like, strawberry-type stuff for February, so it'll make sense if I can do, like, strawberry one. So I'm going to open that one for this, and I'll just try one of each that's in there. So we have the milk chocolate. Huh? No. So it tastes kind of like the last thing we had, except there is more of a, so there's like a soy sauce flavor in there, which is almost a little bit of a saltiness. That's better. Actually, yeah, that's good. I like that. Let me see about the white chocolate. I'm real iffy on white chocolate. So, oh man, that looks so overexposed. I mean, white chocolate to me is okay sometimes. It just mainly just t tastes like almost nothing. It's like a little vanilla-y, and it's like whack, like particularly waxy. I'm not a big fan. And then here's a strawberry one that just looks like it's probably white chocolate with strawberry added to it and coloring. Doesn't smell like strawberry. It does taste like strawberry. That's okay. And yes, it is like a white chocolate with some strawberry flavor added. It does kind of like dress up the white chocolate more for me. So like I like it more than the straight white chocolate. But I don't know. Is it too much strawberry? Just about. Okay, so those are decent. Not looking forward to the matcha ones though. I hate matcha. I hate it. All right, let me get this one out of the way. I think my wife's going to like eating her half of this one. Lottie Choco Pie. Chocolate coated vanilla cream sandwich pie. Choco Pie. Soft chocolate covered cake sandwich filled with a mildly sweet cream filling. Perfect pick me up for when you are feeling down. I'm not feeling down today. I'm actually having a, quite a good day. But it should still make me happy. I'm sure. Ooh. There's a... Is that dark chocolate? No. Chocolate doesn't look like straight. Yeah, it looks more like dark chocolatey. I have to pick up the plate for this one. Because it can get crumb... Like, the cake inside can get pretty crumbly. Mmm. Oh, my God. It's so soft. This is the thing about these, like, prepackaged snacks that we get from Japan. Like... How is it that when you get it in the United States, they're, like, almost always stale or, like, not moist? Well, whenever I'm getting them from Japan, they're moist. It's so soft. It's, like, my teeth just cut right through this thing. Very chocolatey, nice cakiness. Vanilla on the inside. Mmm. Yeah, my teeth just go right through it. Very pleasant. My wife's going to enjoy her half of that. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's kind of like a moon pie that we have in the United States. And like I've said, I've had that before. It's been in, it's been in here before. It's good. It's tasty. And yeah, it tastes a little more like a, it tastes like a mix of a, of a milk and dark chocolate, actually. I don't know if it actually is, but that's just what it's tasting like to me right now. Okay, next. Can I just have one of these? Oh, so there's two. Okay. We've also had these. We've had a lot of these before. So I think the problem is, like, when they want to keep it on theme for February for the, you know, Valentine's Day stuff, it's a little, it might be a little bit limited what they can get. So here we go. The Tokyo Rusk Pieces. Bite-sized double-baked baguettes soaked in chocolate or strawberry cream. Super light, fluffy, and crunchy all at the same time. So once again, I have a chocolate one. <coughs> And I have a 
strawberry one. So I'm going to do strawberry one because that's what it's about. It's about the strawberries in February. And these things, like, I don't understand the packaging. Like, all that packaging just for this little cube. You know? It seems like a little excessive here. I mean, it looks like Rusk. Rusk is like that twice baked baguette. I love Rusk. I think the texture's great. It's got an awesome crunch. Usually tastes really good. So this just kind of looks like it's soaked in like a white chocolate with strawberry. I don't really smell much of any strawberry. It just smells sweet. Definitely white chocolate. Not as much crunch as I usually get from Rusk's. And it's kind of strawberry-y, but it's almost nondescript, like some sort of fruity something. If I, if I didn't already know what it was as I was eating it, I would probably just be like, there's a fruity something, I don't know. It's very low level. It's mainly the white chocolate that shines with that. And for me, not a big fan. I bet this chocolate one's going to be a lot better, though. Just saying. Just saying. Blech. Okay, what else do we have here? This looks interesting. We have not had this one. No, I don't think we've had this one before. This is Bourbon Chocolier. We've had something by this company before. Well, a few times. Baked wheat biscuit topped with milk chocolate. Sounds pretty basic-ish. There's two of them in each pack, so that's cool. These look like they're they're like items that you would have with like tea if you're British, or if you're American and you like having tea with with snacks. My wife and I go to like tea houses here and there, and we'll do like high tea and stuff. I enjoy it. It just smells like milk chocolate. Ooh. Oh. So the um mm, the biscuit portion is really buttery. It's got a little bit of a a little bit of a crunchiness to it, not a whole lot. It reminds me a lot of like well made pie crust, because it's a little bit flaky when you bite into it, and that level of butteriness. And then it's just the, like a nice milk chocolate with that. Mmm, that's really good. It seems really easy and, like, simple and basic, but the flavor is really there. Oh, man, it's that biscuit. That biscuit is just so buttery, and it's so flaky once you bite into it. It's just, yeah, like I said, it reminds me of a really good pie crust, which there are not many good pie crusts out there. And I'm spoiled because my mom makes pies all, a lot of the time. And when she does, she always makes pie crust from scratch. I know how to do it as well. It's a family recipe. It's, it's it, it takes a lot of time, but flavor-wise, totally worth it. Okay, what's our next thing here? This must be the Strawberry Carrara, I think. I'll show it. Yeah, I think so. I'll show it to you there. I'm going to open it up, and, and then I'll know for sure if that's what it is and I'll tell you about it. yeah yeah that's what it is so we, we've also had something like this before here we go um strawberry carrara delicate butter cookie sandwich from a famous shop called food fubion in kyushu which is in the southern island of japan the cookies are filled with a luxurious mix of cocoa whipped cream and freeze-dried strawberries yeah sounds good we may have had this exact one for last february to be honest it def oh my gosh. It smells very strongly of strawberry, but in a good way. It like, smells like actual strawberry, like fresh, tasty strawberry with a nice sweetness behind it, too. It's like sugary, strawberry. I smell the butteriness. Mm. There's a bit of a crunch to it with the inside. Hmm. That's like a good strawberry flavor. I really like the cream on the inside. If we can... God, it's so overexposed. Sorry. See it? There you go. That's better. This lighting goes up and down so much. Yeah. It's very light. It's kind of fluffy. Um, I like the strawberry cream because 
it's a definite strawberry flavor. It's pretty strong, but it also doesn't feel like super rich or anything. It's a nice flavor. It's good. Oh, excuse me. All right, moving on. We're getting close to the end. I think we just have two more things. Oh, this is, I don't know how this is going to be. This looks, it's an interesting concept. And, oh, I think it's freeze dried. So I don't, well, I don't know. Texturally, I don't know how I'm going to be with this. This is Koisuru Strawberry. Seasonal snack made with organic freeze-dried strawberry from the farms in rural Tochigi, Japan. The strawberries are then covered in either premium white chocolate or strawberry-infused white chocolate. Okay, did I get one of each or something? No? I, well, I don't know. They look the same. So, yeah. I mean, literally, it's like half of a freeze-dried strawberry with white chocolate on it. Now, here's the thing. Texturally, I don't really like the texture of, like, freeze-dried stuff typically. It's a little, like, nails on a chalkboard for me. Like, I remember when I was younger eating, um, trying to eat, like, space ice cream. You know, like that freeze-dried Neapolitan ice cream. And not being able to handle it because of that texture. Here we go. It just... All I smell is sweetness and white chocolate. Okay. The t that texture is much lighter than I assume. There's less. There's not as much resistance as I thought there would be. But there's a really awesome just burst of a fresh strawberry flavor. That's really nice. And then it comes in with that sweet white chocolate. It's pretty good. Honestly. For me personally, I can see a lot of people liking this, but for me personally, since I'm not huge on white chocolate, I would love to have that with preferably dark chocolate, but even milk chocolate. And those would be really, really good. That's what they should be doing, not the white chocolate. The white cho like, like I said, I know some people who would really like that, but I feel like more people would just like a regular chocolate. Just do milk chocolate. It's interesting, though. I'm very interested at, interested to have my wife try the other one. And then this is another thing we've already had. A lot of things we've already had in this box. Uh, and this is one of the popular snacks. This is Milk Country Candy. Back by popular demand, candy made with all natural organic Hokkaido milk. There it is. Uh, I'm actually not going to open this right now because I've already done it on this channel before. I've done it on one of these. Uh, actually, I think this is the third time that I've gotten these in a box, which is fine because I actually like these. So I'll just tell you, I remember what they taste like. They're very creamy because obviously they're made with milk. They're not super sweet. They almost taste a little bit like homemade caramel in a way and like a very light caramel. They're very, very good. I'm, I'm a fan of those. Those are great. And got four of them. They're all just one flavor. It's just straight milk. It'd be cool if they did like chocolate milk ones of that. Or even strawberry, given it's, you know, February. So anyway, uh, this was good. Um, good box. Definitely a good box. Little bum that we had a lot of repeat things just because I like getting new stuff. But the this a lot of the stuff that we're getting more, getting again, I, I like. So that's okay. So for me, what do I like the most? Actually, I think the majority of what I like the most is coming from the popular snack side and not the featured snack side. That's that freeze-dried strawberry was definitely interesting. I'm glad to have had that. The strawberry Carrara, these things right here, um, are quite good. That's really nice and flavorful. Other than that, the happy turn. These things are great. Like I said, I'm gonna have a beer and eat those. That's gonna be awesome. Um, chocolate pie is pretty good. The black, <clears throat> sorry, black puffed rice is pretty solid. Um, but I, I gotta say my favorite thing is the, here, I'll just pull out the unopened package, is these things. I only have it right side up. These things, man, that, that really surprised me and they're really good. Um, God, that like, that like pie crust biscuit is just amazing. And the nice milk chocolate that's not too sweet. Because that's the other thing. I talk about it all the time when I do these unboxings on here and taste these food, these foods. Um, is that when it's sweets in Japan, they're not sickly sweet like they are in the United States. And I love that. 
about Japanese snacks. That's why I keep getting these boxes, and I think in particular, Snacku does a great job. So, um, I oh, actually, that reminds me. I have, like, an affiliate code or something now or link that I can do through Snacku. This just started. So there's, like, a rewards program for me um, recommending people. So if um, I don't have it on me right <coughs> excuse me, don't have it on me right now, if you are interested, though, in signing up for Snacku, Shoot me an email, brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. That's spelled B R E W T A L B A T T L E P O D C A S T at gmail.com. Brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. Send me an email there. Tell me you want the link or code, whichever it is. I can't remember at the moment. And I'll get that to you and we'll see if we can get me some rewards and get you some money off a snacku box. I think you have to be like a new subscriber is my assumption, but I don't remember. But anyway, just email that. Anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out. I'm excited to see what we get next month. Like I always say, I would love to see a send by only box because I love that stuff. But no matter what, I'll find good stuff in it. So thanks everyone for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.